everyone, this is Margaret, and welcome to episode one of our brand new marketing series called So You Have the Skill, Now What? Hey guys, this, this series is only available to YouTube, so guys, please, if you need know someone who needs to see this, uh, please share it to your Facebook or etc. Um, so that they will have the access to this, because that's at YouTube long term. So without any further ado, I will share my screen and let's start the episode one. So guys, as I've said, if you're watching this live right now or it's a replay, please comment the hashtag, hashtag S-Y-H-T-S-N-W. I know it's hard, but please uh, let me know. Um, comment down below if you're watching this on live or on replay, because that's the time that I will know if talagang nakikinig kayo. Uh, remember when you apply to freelance marketplaces, diba? Most of the time, yung mga clients is may pinapa uh, sali silang mga magic words to you. Um, so that they will test if talagang nagbabasa ka ng full instructions and how on what the project is all about. All right. So, yeah. Episode one is, is called The Most Important Thing Every Financer or Business Owner Should Know. I'll let you know what is it along this episode. So, as I've mentioned in episode 00, you need to have your sweet spot defined already before you dive in to this freelancing. And if you do man, just uh, play around with something. Okay? It doesn't have to be final. What is important is you have your sweet spot nyo, or your profitable skill to offer um, so that you can apply whatever you will learn from this series. All right, guys. So to all those uh, na napapanood to episode one, I suggest to watch the How to Choose a Profitable Skill to Offer the webinar that I did. It's found on our YouTube channel here, or I will link have the link here somewhere. Um, para makita nyo. And if wala pa kayong sweet spot, watch that webinar and go back to this. Uh, I would like to let you know uh, what you will learn in this marketing series that we're doing. All right. So for now, we have two seasons in the marketing series. So these are the things that you're going to learn. The, the episode per uh, chapter is actually one to two episodes. So it's around 15 to 25 minutes. All right. So that you can implement it right away. So for season one, for chapter one, we're going to discuss the marketing and why you need to fall in love with your clients. All right. So for chapter two is eight traits a good marketer should possess. Ito yung dapat meron kayo, eight traits lang for you to stand out from the crowd and for you to market yourself without being too salesy. Chapter three is a successful client journey to make them love you. I'm going to show you a new you magiging client journey. No, mga potential clients mo. All right. So um, this series is not only for freelancers. This could work for brands or small business owners. Not my personal branding. All right. So, but allow me to just use the term client. But for business owners, I'm not forgetting your customers or your um, clientele. But for the sake of the series, we will just use the term client. So chapter three is we're going to discuss the art and science of selling the invincible. Okay? But paano mo ba ibibenta yung hindi nila nakikita? Like for example, your services. For example, you're a graphic designer, a photographer, or um, a, a digital marketer, a writer. Paano mo isa-sell yung hindi pa nila nakikita? Alright? So I'm going to teach you what is the persuasion formula that you can apply so that you can market yourself properly without being too cringy. In Chapter 5, I'll give you a template on how to create your one-page marketing plan and you will use this along your journey as a freelancer or a business owner. So that's for Season 1. And as I've said, meron tayong 1 to 2 episodes per chapter. For season two, we're going to dive into the details or uh, touch all the weeds of marketing. So in chapter one, we're going to discuss how to market yourself as an expert. But note, um, if you're following me, I'm not suggesting to call yourself an expert. I'm suggesting to call yourself just a specialist or strategist. Because why? The expert term is your client mo ang tatawag nun sa you. But you have to provide an expert result, an expert persona, all right? 
Number two is marketing yourself in job interviews. It could be interview with the clients or interview with um, big companies that you wanted to be involved with. Chapter three is marketing yourself in meetings and negotiations. Um, pwede na sa meeting ka with a, na, with a group of people and you're trying to negotiate something there. So how could you market yourself? Chapter four is marketing your product or service. Ito is per product or per service. And five is how to market yourself without marketing. It's just like how to sell yourself without selling. All right, so that's it for season one and two, and the rest of the seasons will depend on, of course, if you still want me to do this series, and of course, will depend on the qu questions that you have and you mga magiging struggles you know, along um, your marketing yourself. All right, that's why I would ask for your cooperation whenever we uh, you watch this, please try to answer and comment. What are your wins? What are your pains? What are your issues? Para mas address ko talaga siya properly. That's for um, an overview of what you will learn in this marketing series. All right. So I have one um, favor to ask you guys. So I want you to uh, comment below um, someone, a persona, or a person that you know, or even if you don't know, um, that you want me to deconstruct you marketing strategy yeah. all right so for example sino ba? um for example it it may be a, a public persona uh, steve jobs or it may be just someone in the philippine industry or someone sa sa grupo ng mga freelancers na gusto nyo uh na deconstruct natin yung marketing strategy yeah, as a person all right so please comment below uh, i need you to suggest a person or a persona that you want me to um, unwrap a new marketing strategies yet. So I'm going to answer the question that I asked you, Kanina. The most important thing you should know as a freelancer, as a business owner, or the most important skill that you should have is actually marketing. It's how to sell. So it's how to sell. It's important. If you don't you have to know at least Right, a thing or two about this one. So, a successful freelancer or business owner should know how to market themselves or their products or services. So, marketing is just actually okay. So, marketing uh, aspects known are selling, negotiating, convincing, right? Nandun yun lahat si concept ng marketing. So, uh, according to dictionary.com, your marketing DAO is the action or business of promoting and selling products or services, including your mga market research mo and your mga advertising. So, as I've said, as a digital marketing strategist, I'm an end to end marketing strategist because it encompasses everything para sa isang business. And as I've said, marketing is present in all stages of business. Hindi lang siya nasa umpisa. Okay? Hindi lang din siya nasa dulo or nasa gitna. It's from beginning to end. So I want you to understand that as the life of a successful freelancer or business owner, nandun yung marketing. Okay? You're not even aware na yung ginagawa mo pala is already marketing. And we will touch that, uh, those things along dito sa series natin. And of course, marketing is present na actually siya. Simula pa nung bata tayo. Bakit? So nung bata tayo, di ba? We ask our parents, na, Ma, gusto ko ng ganito. Gusto ko ng ganyan. Tapos diba tatanungin ka, Bakit kailangan mo yan? Para saan? Ma, kasi ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Christmas party namin sa ano, wala akong bagong damit. Baka tawanan ako ng mga kaklase ko. Like ako, naalala ko nung bata ako. Um, kasi I'm, I'm, a, I'm a varsity player sa table tennis. So, I asked my mom, Sabi ko, ma, kailangan ko ng bagong shoes. Ganon, uh, I saw some, some, some things in Nike. Ganon. Tapos, it was expensive that time. Um, because I live in a small town, just lahat ng mga parang ganun na shoes is mahal. So, in reality, nasa 3,000 lang siya, pero parang nagiging 4,000 siya pag dumating dun sa ano namin, town namin. So, sabi naman ko, kahit may yan kailangan, may shoes ka pa naman eh. So, sabi ko, mga kailangan ko ng mas magandang, ano, mas magandang shoes kasi para mas makapag-move ako properly. Ganun. So, diba? <laughs> Kino-convince ko yung mom ko. Tapos, sorry ko sa kanya, ma, pag hindi mo ito binili, baka hindi ako manalo. Mahihirapan ako. Sasakit yung ba? 
So, kahit na um, inisip na nalang ko na hindi ko naman siya talaga like essentially kailangan, binili pa niya. So, that's also marketing na ginagawa mo ng bata ka. Di ba? And other things, ano ba ba? Marketing is also, selling yourself is also present. For example, you're a guy and you wanted to um, um, court this certain girl that you really like. Di ba? So, you're doing a marketing of selling yourself then eh. Because uh, you wanted to ha- make a good impression. Not only to the girl, but also to the girl's families. You're also marketing yourself. So yeah, as I was saying, marketing is ever present sa life natin. Even si mula ba na pa tayo, hanggang si matanda na tayo. So I want you to understand na, hey, don't be intimidated by selling or marketing yourself. Kasi it's all there. Nandyan siya eh. But what we're trying to do here in freelancing and business is we're trying to uh, touch that skill na nasa sayo na. And then we're trying to improve that one. All right. So yeah, as I've said, remember this. The question is not, if I am a salesperson, Margaret, how can I market myself effectively? Hindi naman ako salesperson. No, it's not the question. As I've told you earlier, marketing is ever present to life natin. The question should be this. How can I improve this skill that I already have and use it in my pro- profession or business? So that should be your question. Not the, hindi ako salesperson, hindi ako makamarket ng self ko. It should be, ano, ano yung gagawin ko para ma-improve ko yung self ko? Ma-improve ko yung marketing skill ko na meron na ako actually. Hindi ko lang alam. Diba? Alright. So that's why we have this series for you. And, bakit napaka-importante ng marketing for every freelancer and business owner? Kasi ganito, um, the client doesn't know what they would know, right? Of course, uh, simples. Hindi talaga nila alam, ano hindi nila alam. For example, may problema sila, hindi nila alam may solusyon yung problema nila, na ikaw makakabigay ng solusyon nun. Di ba? They're not aware of that. For second is they don't even know what they want until you tell them. Uh, for example, sa mga website designers, uh, we also do the website design dyan sa agency. Well, until now. Kinagawa namin yung website design kasi nagiging kasali na siya sa SEO writing and etc. Kasi we have to write the content of the website na based sa mga SEO, uh, best practices, etc. etc. So, yung mga client, most of the time, hindi nila alam ano yung gusto nilang design. Kaya nga nagbibigay ka ng mock-ups, kumuha, kumukuha ka ng marketing description or marketing brief sa kanila, uh, ano yung mga iniisip nila, and then you create mock-ups for that. Okay? They don't even know what they want until you tell them. And then yung pinadala mo yung mock, mock-up na yun and suggestion mo, they realize, oh, this is what I want. This is what I need. All right? And part of it is for them, for you to convince them that that's what they want. Clients don't even know what's causing their problems. So yun, hindi nila alam na dahil ganito yung problema na nila kasi ganito yung ginagawa nila. Right? And you're actually there to convince them that, hey, this is the root cause of your problem. And here I am. I'm going to fix that. All right? That's why you have to position yourself as their trusted strategist or trusted advisor, counselor, and among who may talk to yourself more. It's like you're positioning yourself as the expert because clients have preconceived notions. Okay? Today and age ngayon, ang hirap talaga mag-market kasi bakit, for example, sa amin, sa akin, as um, a course creator about financing and digital marketing, um, madaming, ano eh, madaming naysayers, di ba? Ba't ako maniniwala kay Margaret? Ba't ako maniniwala kay Margaret? Ba't po, pipili yung course niya, na super freelancer's course? Parang ganun. Pwede naman ako manad sa YouTube. Pwede ko naman makita yan sa mga blogs or whatever. And dami na lang preconceived notions. It's the same with the marketing. I mean, it's the same with the freelancing. Bakit ko yung hire si Margaret? So that's why papasok yung proper marketing strategy mo. Strategy mo as a person. And as I've said kanina, marketing is everything. It's ever present from beginning to end. Lahat siya na ginagawa mo as a service-based provider or a business owner, kasali doon yung marketing. The problem now is you're being turned into a commodity because everyone looks the same. So everyone looks like Margaret, dito sa course um, creator industry. So what's your difference ba? Diba? For example, I'm a social media manager. 
pare-pareho na sila ng templates na ginagamit, yung mga nude. Kahit saan ka pumunta, pare-pareho sila ng ginagamit. Kasi pare-pareho sila ginagamit ng template. And then halos wala na silang pinapalitan doon. So, how could you stand from the crowd? How could you cut from the noise? That's the real problem right now ng mga freelancers. So that's why you need to sell yourself properly. So, ang drawback kasi niyan, if you don't know how to sell yourself or even a business owner, hindi siya marunong, would convince na yung product niya is good. You'll not last in the game. So, hindi ka talaga tatagal. All right? So, after probably, say, a good six months or 12 months, mayroon ka pa siguro ang client, kahit pa paano, dahil na-refer ka or may nakuha kang ganito or yung contract na nakuha mo first is for 12 months. So, yan lang. Then, after niyan, hindi ka na marunong mag-market ng self mo, then you're not gonna last. All right? So, people buy from companies they trust. And how do you develop trust? It's how you position yourself. It's how you market yourself. Because trust is earned. Okay? In the earned way of trusting. So people buy from companies they trust, and most of all, people buy from big brands. Yeah, when you see um, when you see computers, you think of Apple or um, Windows, maganon or Dell, bala. I'm sorry, uh, you'll think of Apple or Toshiba, uh, Sony, Dell, maganon. Hindi kita magisip kung bibilhin mo ba yan or hindi, kasi meron nasa reputation. But that's the problem with us, um, mga small companies or mga freelancers is wala silang trust pot first. So that's why we need um, to position ourselves na magkakaroon ng trust yung tao sa atin, which we're going to dive deep sa next episodes ng series na to. Marketers offer solutions to problems other humans have. Okay? If hindi ka marunong mag, um, sell ng solutions mo, and then you're not gonna last. Kasi ang purpose natin as freelancers is we have a pain that we're trying to solve. Right? And then um, yun, yung marketing dun is, is in the middle. Now, how can this certain client trust us that we can solve their problems? That's the missing link there. That's the gap that you're trying to nick. Diba? So, there are loyal and returning customers, and you should have them both. Okay. So, if a freelancer doesn't know how to sell, hindi ka magkakaroon ng mga loyals or what we call sa ating super freelancer course, our super clients, hindi ka magkakaroon ng loyal and returning customers. And the difference ng dalawa? Loyal clients are, no matter what your price is, they will still buy, okay, whatever your product or service is. Ang returning clients naman, or customers, is that, kaya sila bumabalik sa'yo dahil meron kang in-offer na discount, okay? In-offer ka siguro na uh, recurring discount. So kaya bumabalik yan sa'yo. All right, and in the freelancing game, if you want to really last here, you need this both, both of these clients, the loyal one or what we call the super clients and the returning customers. Ito. I've been asked this a lot. Margaret, hindi ko talaga hay maging freelancer kasi hindi ko alam paano magsisell. Okay, I'll tell you a story. I myself is hindi ako talaga a salesperson, All right? Hindi ako... Ganito ka confident makipag-usap before. But um, what I did is that, as always, and what I've been doing ever since is, I did a self-audit sa sarili ko. Bakit ba ako takot? What? Uh, humarap si mga tao. Like ito, I've been in the freelancing industry for 8-10 years already, pero ginawa ko lang yung community natin, New York Cruise Show, noong 2020, last year, around July. Diba? Kasi, nakikita ko to ako. May fear ako na nobody's gonna listen to me. Diba? So that's a limiting belief. Alright? And that's the fear of rejection. Kasi nobody's gonna listen to me. So, what am I doing right now? Those are one of the examples. Bakit tayo afraid? Bumenta. So, why are we afraid of selling? Because of the fears and limiting beliefs that they have. But you know what, guys? These fears and limiting beliefs are necessary then. Okay? Necessary kasi bakit? Dito mo malalaman saan yung mga weaknesses mo eh. Dito mo din malalaman ano yung mga kailangan mo i-address. And you have to have a self-awareness for you to become a better version of yourself. So ano yung mga examples ng limiting beliefs natin and fears? Fear of rejection. Yung tulad sa sinabi ko kanina. Um, 
nagkaroon ako ng fear of rejection. Kaya ang tagal-tagal kong ilabas yung super finance or course. Kasi I sabi ko, nobody's gonna listen to me. Ano yun? But you know what? No. Um, I stick with my mission. Ano ba talaga yung mission? Ano yung gusto ko uh, na mission? Which is the one million mission. So I stick with that. So I just put out content and then, alam mo yung ganun, hanggang sa dahan-dahan, um, nagiging confident na ako to share what I learned and my experiences. So fear of rejection. Next is lack of familiarity. Sometimes, hindi ka familiar. Katakot ka rin sometimes na eh, hindi ka familiar dito sa client na to. So, paano ba ito kaasapin? And we're going to fix that along the series, yung lack of familiarity. Next is the private versus the public image. Ito, nakaka-relate ako dito. Ayaw ko sa inyo. So the private image versus the public image, you have to understand na kung sino ka dito, uh, for example, this is my public image right now sa inyo. Diba? I'm discussing this. But in reality, hindi naman ako ganito ka strict or ka-serioso or ka-confident. Uh, in my private persona, I'm just a simple person. Diba? Ano yung ganun? So, you have to understand na yung private and public image mo sometimes, hindi yan sila the same. That, that's why, ako, whenever I go out the videos, I do the incantation technique to boost my confidence. Alright? Kasi even if matagal ko na siyang ginagawa itong freelancing and business, may mga limiting beliefs pa rin ako. And I learned something from Rez Guide, which is our one of the guests sa ating podcast episode, Um, in season 3, lalaba siya, um, sinabi niya na uh, to gain confidence daw in, on your public image, sometimes you just have, you have to act. Okay? You have to act daw. Kasi yung private image mo na mahiyain, um, hindi yun yung ilalabas mo dito sa public image mo, which is you're trying to put out content. You have to act. Like you're a confident person. Alright? But acting And faking it is different, okay? Acting is actually um, going inside the personality nung gusto mo ilabas sa public mo and putting confidence sa sarili mo, all right? So you have to understand, guys, na hindi po kayo mahihayain ka. Hindi mo na kaya mo excel. Like ako before, hindi po kayo na sabi ko hindi ako the best, like the have the most articulate enunciation. Um, and I hear how much you believe in and everything. Sabi ko, I'm just hope I day gumawa ng mga webinars or what. But you know what? I realized no, my public and my private um, personality is not my public image. I can be confident in front of you, right? So I have fixed that one. And ito, we are also afraid of sending because we power of perception. And the main perception, and even the perceive natin, right? For example, ito. Uh, I don't know uh, if you remember this the first time na lumabas yung issue kay Michael Jackson na he is a sex, sex mo- monster, parang ganun. Um, I think it was on the news. Nakita ko lang naman siya sa mga YouTube. It was, uh, paano nila pinreceive yung story na yun? Na it was a breaking news na si Michael Jackson daw is a sex offender. Tapos uh, kung ano-ano pinagsasabi nila, lahat ng mga suggestive sexual words na git na uh, may isip mo. Habang sinasabi yun ng anchor, yung mga reports na yun is pinapakita dun sa interview si Michael Jackson is sumasayo siya ng, I, I don't know, anong sayo yun? Billy Jeans or Beat It na yung hinahawak niya, hinahawakan niya yung crotch niya. Diba? And then, um, kasabay nun yung suggest- su- suggestive sexual words na sex offender siya and whatever. So pag narinig mo yun, tapos yun ang nakikita mo, ano kagad ang Mag- magiging perception mo. Oo nga, sex, sexual, ano nga talaga, monster, si ano, si Michael Jackson. Alright? So, going back sa freelancing and business, power of perception. Iniisip mo kaagad sa sarili mo na hindi, kasi ganito ako, mahihain ako, hindi ako magaling, hindi ako marunong magsalita, tapos, sinubukan mo mag-market, di ba? yung ano yung naperceive mo sa sarili mo, yun din ang naperceive ng client sa'yo kasi yun yung pinapalabas mo. Alright? Yun yung lumalabas sa'yo. Yun yung nagmamanifest. So, the power of perception is very important. So, once we perceive ourselves ourselves as a confident um, strategist or um, digital marketing strategist or freelance or a business owner, yun yung mailalabas mo na manifestation din sa client mo or sa people that is watching you. Right? 
uh, we will go dive um, deeper into the weeds and the power of perception in the next episodes in the series that thought. But you get what I mean, right? What should we do about this? Right? Um, so lahat ng tinuturo ko, so lessons ko, I always start with mindset talaga. I always start with fixing your attitude. Kasi bakit? I believe that we can't continue learning about marketing or anything if you don't address what's holding you back. Okay? Hindi ko naman sinasabi na isolve mo kagad yung problema mo. You have to be self-aware. You just have to address that accordingly. Hindi naman necessary na, ah, kaya, ay, hindi ko na magagawa talaga itong freelancing kasi hindi ko ma-address yung problema ko, Margaret. It's not like that. But you have to be self-aware. And list down all your fears and limiting beliefs about marketing yourself. And why do you think meron kang ganong beliefs? Alright? So, bakit may ganun ka? But may, may, may fears ka of selling yourself at hindi mo siya nagagawa. So, ilista mo siya. Ano yung mga fears mo? Limiting beliefs mo? Bakit hindi, piling mo hindi ka marunong mag-sell or hindi ka effectively, effective na marketer? And by lalagyan mo ng reason, bakit kaya? Bakit ka ganun? Right? And along in this series, we will address and mitigate those fears and limiting beliefs that you have in order for me to help you overcome it. Because if I did it, I have overcome my limiting beliefs and fear, guys. You can too. All right? Kasi bakit? Fears, as I've said earlier, fears are important to know. Kasi bakit? You have to... um face na may fears tayo for us to address it. Okay? For us to mitigate kung ano bang pwede natin magawa doon. So in order for us to be better at selling ourselves, we have to see people as these three types. First is, these people or your potential clients can agree with you. Next is, probably they can disagree with you. And the third is, they haven't made up their minds yet. Okay? We should see these people sa three types na ganito. And as a marketer, or as, and as a freelancer who knows how to sell herself or himself, your job is to target itong third type ng people, which is you, uh, made, they haven't made up their minds yet, or we, we can call them undecided people. Okay, you should see them as this. Bakit? I will tell you on the next slide. Yung mga nag agree with you. I'm not saying that you have to, uh, this, ano na, ahiyan mo na sila. I'm saying na don't put too much effort na doon. Okay? Don't concentrate on them. Kasi uh, nag-agree na sila sa'yo eh. Next is, yung nag-disagree sa'yo, don't too much effort, put too much effort on it naman. Kasi bakit? Uh, meron na silang, ano ni, uh, preconceived notion na about you. Ayaw namin makinig si kay Margaret. Corny yan. Okay? Ayaw namin makinig kay Margaret kasi, ano, napaka, ano, seryoso naman niya. Ano may ganun? Mahihirapan ka na doon eh. Diba? May bias na kasi. May bias. And yung pinakamaganda, yung undecided pa ng mga tao, is they haven't made up their minds yet. And then you're there to actually convince them. And that's the best um, metric paano mo malalaman kung nag-work yung marketing strategies mo. Alright? So, ganun mo titingnan yung mga tao. And, bakit? The people should see you as this. Confident. Excellent, likable, and trustworthy individual, right? These are just some of the traits a good marketer, marketer should possess. But in chapter two, in the next episodes, we will discuss you mga nitty-gritty stuff nung uh, five traits na to. But you, the people na you undecided or you nag sa sa'yo, ganito ka nila dapat tingnan. They are your super clients. They will become your loyal clients. So, if you're a member of our Super Financers course or naka enroll ka, uh, I always teach this a great creative method formula in article design, which is we are trying to make you a confident person. And how do you arrive to being a confident person? Is by having the right mindset, and you continue to develop your superpowers, which is which are your skills, right? And then for you to become excellent, kailangan mo ng confidence first. And next is you take consistent action, which is the law of accumulation. So, ibig sabihin, kaya lagi kong sinasabi na 
If you wanted to improve yourself, you practice daily. You practice as consistent as possible. If you wanted to become a great photographer, if you wanted to become a brilliant graphic designer, if you wanted to become um, an amazing writer or an expert digital marketing strategist, so you take consistent action. And kaya ka nga din nandito nanonood ng marketing series natin because you've decided that you wanted to learn continuously. So as I've said kanina, a good marketer should possess a confidence and excellence trait. And you can use this formula to have that one. And this is what we teach in the Super Freelancers course. So guys, um, that's the first episode of the marketing series. As, as you've seen, we um, tap first into your mindset. And yung mga limiting beliefs mo, bakit ka natatakot mag-marketing? Or you're afraid to market yourself. So we have to um, address that first. And please, guys, I want you to know that I'm not just doing this marketing series for, alam mo yun, for the cloud. Kung baga, sabi ni John Obensa sa ating episode 20, 26. I'm not doing this para magpapansin lang sa inyo. All right? I'm doing this because of the one million mission. And I want you to know that you can be a great marketer. All right? And I failed my mission, guys. If all I ever did dito sa video na to is just to entertain you. Baka nga, hindi pa, di ba? So, I need you to take action and implement what you learned every time we release this series or we release this episode, which is every Fridays, 8 p.m. Philippines time on YouTube. So I need you to take action. And I'm making the episodes uh, bite-sized as possible and my actionable item at the end so that you can implement it right away. And of course, guys, email me at admin at articleindesign.com or comment below your wins or problems. Okay? At I've said kanina, I'm going to give you an actionable item. So first is your actionable item would be, or your homework would be, Write down what you are afraid of and pay attention to it so you can address or mitigate it. So can you comment down below sa video na to, ano yung mga things bakit ka afraid to sell yourself? Or bakit ka afraid to even start marketing? Or bakit ka natatakot na i-sell yung product mo? Okay, can you please comment down below because I will do my best to answer, right? And try to help you. And next homework, guys, is on a scale of 1 to 10, can you let me know how good are you in marketing yourself? Because probably some of you here are um, market na sarili nila, or some of you here are getting clients already. Um, so on a scale of 1 to 10, please let me know. What do you think? Just, just rate yourself, okay? Or just rate yourself. What do you think? How good are you in marketing yourself or selling, selling your services or products? And of course, um, you can say just 9 or 10 and then uh, list down your strengths and weaknesses. This will be no number one, Margaret. These are my strengths. Uh, I believe that I'm a very convincing person. This is my weakness. Margaret, um, I think I'm a convincing person, but feeling ko kulang pa ako sa communication strategy, right? How to communicate properly. So just you can just uh, let me know one to three strengths, weaknesses that you have. So guys, please comment down below or email me. Um, a new more problem on you because it will help us. It will help you along the series because I will touch those problems. All right, I will discuss it. Because in bahay, your mission goal is to help you. I, I'm not here to entertain you. All right, I'm here to help you. So let me help you by telling me what is your problem. All right. So guys, that's all for episode one. So as I've said, it's a mindset thing, and or or. Tapping in sa yung mga problema mo, all right? Bakit hindi mo uh, ginagawa ng mabuti yung marketing? So I will see you next week again on March 13 for our episode 2. Please don't miss this one because I will let you know how to fall in love with your clients. So to help you how to market yourself properly. So every Friday, catch me 8 p.m. only on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you're new here. And please um, share this channel or this video if you know someone who needs this. And please, any questions or what you'd like to share, any experiences that you have, please write down in the comments below and I will re reply to them. And guys, as I've said, I need your support. Please share this video to anyone who needs this for us to realize our 1 million mission in our article and design community. So that's all for today. The most important thing every freelancer or business owner should know 
is actually marketing. All right. So have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow on our podcast, episode 28. And thank you once again. And please just comment below what else you'd like to learn in this series or in this YouTube channel. And I'll be ha happy to accommodate them. And if you want to email me, guys, let me know about anything. Just email me at admin at articleanddesign.com. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.